Hey guys, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode 33 of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, and I just dropped my timer. Wow. Okay, so this is my first recording of the year 2011, so even though this is very belated, Happy New Year! Yay! If this were the third day, I'd show you those fireworks that go up, but sadly it is not, so. Uh, yeah, so... As many of you have been have been anticipating and hoping and praying and stuff, I have gotten my hearing back. Not all the way back quite yet. It's kind of like muffled and still a little bit silent for me right now, which is kind of weird. It's not the most pleasant thing to be hearing, but it's it's something. It's enough to record, so no huge deal there. All right. So I suppose without further ado, um, it's just nice to be back and to record and everything. You have no idea how much I missed this. And time to get on with this. So, uh, if I remember, last time we got quite a few heart pieces. And could that guy be walking any slower? Like, seriously. How bad is that traction on your sandals there, buddy? It's like worse than the hover boots. Yeah, so. Last time we got quite a few heart pieces. And this time we're going to get quite a few masks, actually. If, I, if everything goes according to plan. Curiosity shop. Don't want to go in there. I want to go to this, like, trading post, whatever it is. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so... Uh, dude? <laughs> wow. Hey, that's nice. Maybe I can start carrying that in my store. I kid you not. Uh, are you talking about my bunny hood? You can't have my bunny hood. That's mine. You can't have that. Okay, what am I looking for? I'm gonna buy some red potion. And you will see why a little bit later. But I don't think I can do what I want with that until I get a certain thing that we're also gonna be getting in this episode. Including the masks. Um... I think what I need right now is to go in here into the bomb shop and if you you might have noticed this guy before this is a Goron what's he doing here I don't know but let's let's talk to him let's see oh of all places you're a Goron so you should be able to carry a powder keg right uh yeah so w won't you buy a powder keg for 50 rupees I suppose so better than heading heading all the way out to the mountains to get one all right beautiful Oh, jeez. If only I could just, like, roll up into a ball and drop bombs, that would be so much better. You know, drop powder kegs as in this ball form here, that would be so much better. Of course, no one's ever able to do that, right? No. Okay, so, with this powder keg, now, we can do something that's actually quite interesting. Over down by, uh, Milk Road, actually. There we go. Uh, I don't know why I always stop talking when I play the ocarina, it's like... I'm so intent on playing this song so perfectly that I have to just... I can't I can't be bothered with anything else in my mind. Instead, it's just like me and the music. Ooh. All right, then. So, now we're at, out at Milk Road, and if you remember uh, from whenever we went to Romani Ranch here, it was we always had to go on the third day, because that's how long this guy freaking takes to annihilate this rock with that stupid pickaxe which doesn't look like it's making any kind of dent just kind of like split the rock a little bit but you know what let's just let's just speed this up a little bit hell you're, you're doing it wrong buddy this is how you do it okay watch it go boom oh wait no that's not gonna work because I need it's not gonna blow up right away is it no so let's just let's make it go boom pow and of course all the boulders just kind of go away. They're like, oh, you, you kind of just destroy the main boulder, so we're just kind of going to fade away in existence out of embarrassment. Okay. So now we're in uh, Romani Ranch on the first day. Go figure. Who ever thought we'd be here? So what can we do here exactly? Let's go find out. Because when we came here on the third day, everyone was kind of depressed and like seemed to have something going on in their lives. So why not? Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, I know, it's my horse. We've been through this cutscene before, like a million times. Or like twice, maybe. I don't know, if one one time? Yeah, that's my horse. Oh, Link, run over, it's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. He's so happy. He's like, I'm just gonna ram down those metal bars. Oh, no, wait, I can't. Stupid. He just, like, ran over there to stare at the horse. That's nice. Okay, so, hello. Hey, who are you? I'm Romani. I was given the same name as the ranch. Why? Um, what's your name? I won't say- why would you choose that? I don't know. Are, 
I don't know, Link's not in the witness protection program or anything, so. How about Grasshopper? What the fuck? That's the name Romani gives you. See, you're wearing green clothes and you put and you pat her about when you walk. So Grasshopper it is. Dude, I'm not like a karate student or something. You're not Mr. Miyagi here. You can't call me Grasshopper. Romani was practicing for tonight. Tonight. They are coming. What? Okay. Oh. Are the, the lens flare people are coming? They they come at night every year when the carnival approaches. Um what? Holy What the hell is that? Is that a Chozo ghost? They come riding in a bright shining ball. A whole lot of them come down. And there's a cow. And then they come to the barn. Uh oh. They're stealing your cows? Can't have that now. My older sister won't believe me. But Romani used to protect must protect the cows. Why do you refer to yourself? Why do all these like little girls refer to themselves in the third person? Does anyone else notice that? Like, you know, whatever. You're a boy. Won't you try? Uh, sure. I don't even know what we're doing right now. Now that's the spirit grasshopper. Okay then. I, I'm gonna straight into my. I'm going straight into my strategy. They'll appear all over the ranch. They'll aim for that barn and approach it slowly. So hit them with arrows so they can't get in. You got that? And you mustn't leave the ranch. Grasshopper, let's practice right away. Alright. This is going to be getting into the kind of spookier aspect of the game. This is probably like the creepiest thing you do in this game. Well, not not right now, but later on. Ten ghost-shaped balloons in the ranch, so hurry and burst them all. If you, if you take over two minutes, you're out. Okay. The current record is one minute. Oh, okay. Are you ready? Sure. And so now, we actually get to ride Epona. Oh my goodness. So awesome. Okay, so, we have unlimited arrows here. All you have to do is go around and shoot these balloons down. It's really no nothing huge. Okay, oh, I totally should have hit that. Come on. What do you think you're doing? Yeah, I mean, these balloons are so scary. Look at them. They look like ghosts, totally, don't they? <laughs> they kind of look like Pose with those faces on them. Get your face out of my place, balloon. Thank you. All right. Uh, so I think she said if it take more than two minutes, I'm out or something, something of the like. So that that shouldn't be too hard. I mean, come on, it's been like 40 seconds and we have four of them. So we're doing okay. Hey, hey, hey! No, wow. Totally should have missed that one, but whatever. Hmm. Ah, oh, jeez. You know that there hasn't been enough target practice with Zelda in the past with Zelda games. There's like been no mini games with arrow shooting, so. I guess this is this is a nice change of pace, huh? Sarcasm. Okay, where are the last two balloons? Uh, is there one over there? No. Oh, well, there is one over there. But I was looking at, like, that sign over there. I saw a balloon. Too big. Too freaking big. Okay, so we didn't beat the course record of one minute. But we still did pretty good there. Got under two minutes. Okay, you're done. Yay. Stick a fork in him. He's done. 122, 25, that's great. You two work perfectly together. Indeed we do. I'll teach Romani's horse calling song to you, Grasshopper. Now you two get keep getting along or so and go practice some more. The horse seems to like this song. Oh where have we heard this song before? And apparently our horse's name is Romani now. No wait, no, she was referring to herself as Romani. No, pff, I'm stupid. Wow. Alright, and we learn Epona's song. And, now, you know what that did in Ocarina of Time. You turn into an adult, and you can call Epona to you. But, you don't turn into an adult in this game. Spoilers! Okay, this... Yeah. When your arrow hits these, they burst, like, they burst into nothing, but the real ones will keep popping up. If they get into the barn, we lose. So it's like an arcade game? They run away at first light of the sun, so we'll have to keep them fed keep fending them off until then. I see. Did you get that? Uh, sure. Whatever. The operation starts the night at 2. I'll be waiting in the barn. Don't be late. And she was added to our notebook. Awesome. Taking off the job of nighttime assistant. Ooh. Special. I'm going to take a drink here. Mmm. Delicious. 
All right, and now look at this. Epona is available to us. Achievement unlocked. Epona. Yes. Now with with this our awesome horse here, we can actually go to the next area, the ocean. Yeah, I believe you need Epona to get there because there's like a fence. Well, you can glitch over the fence and get there like really early if you want. I might show that at some bonus episode of some kind. But for now, I'm just gonna take her on a joy ride. Yeehaw! Okay, so, what can we do exactly with Epona around here? Well, there's actually not much. She, she's pretty much just useful for, like, faster travel and stuff. But there are a few areas that we can now access with them. And I actually passed one on Milk Road that I can do. Probably should have done that first, but oh well. I just want to get this one out of the way right now. Okay, you don't actually need Epona to get in here like I thought, but... Eh, nice to have her anyways. So, this is, the, like, the fourth area of the game. This is after the ocean that we're going to do. Um, wait, oh yeah, don't have to, like, jump over the... Hey, stupid. No, what? Yeah, opponent, just stop. Gosh. Okay, you need to control better, opponent. Come on, turn around, just like that. And charge! Jump the fence, yes, perfect. Now jump the other fence, even more perfect. And you want to stop around here. Okay, so obviously we can't quite get up there yet. Because I don't think Epona can jump quite that high. Maybe if we had a spider ball we could jump there, but... I don't know. Making a lot of Metroid references in this one. In this episode, I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. It's because I've been watching uh, Slow Beef's Metroid Prime 3 Corruption LP, which is funny as hell. Okay. Uh, it's on Blip TV, Blip TV, by the way. Okay, get out the lens of truth. There you go. Alright, what time am I at? Oh, oh, my timer's way... How did it get way over there? Stupid gremlins. 12 minutes? Not bad. Alright, so, this is the reason why you want bread potion. There's this random injured guard here, and he's invisible for whatever reason. Huh? Don't tell me. That's... I'm shocked. You're the first person that's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around and asking for help, but everyone ignores me and passes me by. It's because I'm about as impressive as a stone, right? I'm used to it, though. Uh, I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that would make me even... That would make it even an unnoticeable stone that like me feel better? Uh, sure, here you go. Sincerely yours. Ah, this is... That is... Is that it? Oh, yeah, glop. Glop that down. Glop's not a word, but... <laughs> what the hell? It's like, do 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 Yay! I feel better, I think. Oh, okay. You're in. Oh, the, what? Thanks. Oh, here. In gratitude. Mask! You got the stone mask, the ugliest mask ever. Become as plain as a stone. Now let me practice standing out. It was added to my notebook, and we helped them already. Awesome. So, this is a very useful mask later on. You might not think it is, because just, just look at it. Like, what? What? But just, just trust me. You'll, you'll be very glad that you have this later on. Not too much later on, either. Okay, um, where am I going? I don't even know. Okay, what do, what do I want to do right now? It's 10 a.m. on the first day. We have like one minute left in this episode. Well, I have as much time as I want left in this episode, but I'd rather not extend this for like two hours or something, so. I'm gonna go ahead and head out to Milk Road. Because there's something special that we can do there with Epona now. If you, if you can get the warp song right, thank you. Maybe that's why I have to concentrate while I... Maybe that's why I can't talk while I freaking play music, because then the ocarina feels neglected and it refuses to play the song right. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm like, I don't know. Hey, stupid stone bird. Get your face out of my place. Alright, so there's this fence here, and obviously we can't jump that, so we're going to need Epona right now. Uh, but it looks like we're just about hitting the 15 minute mark here, let me check. Just to be absolutely double positive, 14 and a half minutes. Well, I, can, I suppose I can... Oh, phone beeps. Beep, beep, beep. No, actually that was just Epona's nay, whatever. You got a very, very mechanical nay there, Epona. Or is it that way? I don't even remember. Let's just jump over this one, then. This, this, oh. Come on, Epona. You, you, uh, you gotta do better than this. 
You know, let's just go over here. I don't even know. I don't even know if that was the right way. Oh, this looks promising. The Gorman track. Hmm. This is interesting. Oh, it's two Luigi's. Wow. But what? And one of them's wearing blue, and one of them's wearing like yellow. They make the colors of ugly. Okay. So. In the next episode, we're going to see what these Luigis have to offer us. Maybe they're going to give us some mushrooms, I don't know. But, until then, thank you everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.